Okay, so um, let's try to balance another one of these uh, redox equations. Um, so in acidic solution. So you can already tell um, this is a redox equation, or I can really quickly, because I see that iron here has changed its oxidation. Okay, it's actually been oxidized in this reaction. So um, we want to remember, we want to split this thing into half reactions. Okay, the oxidation half reaction and the reduction half reaction. So, oxidation half reaction is going to be the Fe2 plus aqueous goes to Fe3 plus aqueous. So, you can see the oxidation number has changed there. Then the reduction. It's going to be Br O3 minus aqueous goes to Br minus aqueous. Okay, so if you recall from what we did last time, the next thing you want to do is make sure the number of atoms is balanced on both sides. So if you look here, we've got one iron and one iron there, so we're good there. And then we look down here, we've got one bromine here, one bromine there, and we're good there. But we have oxygens over here. So we need to add oxygens to this side. Okay. So recall the way that we did that in these types of problems is to add water molecules. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're adding liquid water. And we see we have three oxygens, and water has one, so we're going to need three of those guys. Okay. So recall also, these are redox re reactions in acidic solution, and remember we talked about the H plus being the acid, um, the proton, the thing that gives acid its acidity. So. What we're going to do is find out how many H pluses are going to be on this side of the reaction. So 2 times 3 is going to be 6. So we got that. Okay. So let's just make sure, right? So we've got 6, 6, 3, 3, 1, 1, right? So everything's balanced there. Does that make sense? Okay, so the next thing we want to do is balance our charges. Okay, so here we've got a plus two, and here we've got a plus three. So in order to um, get that down to a plus two, we're going to add an electron up to the, on the right hand side or on the product side of that equation. So now we're going to have plus three minus one equals plus two. Does that make sense? So this one is balanced by a number in charge now. Okay, so now we're going to come down here and balance this equation. So here we've got 6 plus, right, plus 1 minus, so we're going to have overall plus 5 on this side, right? And here we've got uh, minus 1 on this side. Does that make sense? Okay, so the thing we're going to have to do is put electrons on this side. Okay, because we're going to have to get that plus 5 to be equal to minus 1. So in order to do that, we're going to add 6 electrons like that. And so if we add minus 6 plus 5 plus minus 6, that equals minus 1. Does that make sense? Remember, we have to add, we have to add electrons to do this. Okay. So now, so can I erase this portion of it, the charge part? You got that? 
Okay, so now recall the last portion, we have to make sure the same number of electrons here is in, that's in this half reaction is in this, this half reaction, okay? And in order to do that, we have to multiply all our coefficients by the same number, okay? So we have six electrons transferred here, so we have to get six electrons to be transferred here. Okay. So how do we do that? We take the whole reaction equation, and multiply it by 6. Why? Because we need to multiply 1 by 6 to get 6. So now let's just multiply through. So 6 Fe2 plus aqueous goes to 6 Fe3 plus aqueous plus 6 electrons. Does that make sense there? Okay, now the last thing you want to do is, if you did all this correctly, you should have the same number of electrons being transferred from uh, one of your uh, uh, half reactions to the other one, okay? So, when that's the case, right, just like an algebraic equation, we can cancel them out if they're on opposite sides of each other. And now what do we do? We just go ahead and add up these two equations, so sum these two equations, and that's your overall balanced redox reaction equation. So does it let's, matter what order you put it in? It doesn't matter at all, okay? Whichever one you like the best, okay? Or if it's a multiple choice test, whichever one it writes it out, you know? So okay, so let's do it. Six Fe two plus aqueous plus. So that's all of the reactants on the oxidation half reaction, so now let's do the reduction half reaction. 6H plus aqueous plus BrO3 minus aqueous. Okay, so it looks like that's all of the reactants of the reaction arrow. Reactants of the oxidation, or the products of the oxidation. Plus aqueous plus Br minus aqueous, and lastly, three waters. H2O liquid. And water is always in these things going to be in liquid form. So, You guys think you can do that? Now that you've seen two examples of it? I'll give you guys one more example, at least. Any questions on this one right now?